So the other day, I got accused of again. And all I do is just shake my head. But I got accused of woman or women bashing. And I, I'm going to say it again. All I do is literally just shake my head. I think it's the wavelength or the frequency that people's mindset is on. Because think about this for a second. When you're at different levels, you perceive things differently and you understand or let's say you comprehend differently or you overstand differently. And so, when I'm often accused of woman bashing, women bashing, first thing I think of is, how do these people come to this conclusion? Are they reading the same scriptures that I'm reading? And if you are, how do you come to a different conclusion? And how do you twist your tongue or your mind to state that I'm woman bashing. Listen, anytime I make any indictment on the American woman, it's basically a rebuke on the American man who've allowed this degeneration to take place and continues to keep on being the real problem of this cultural degeneration that continues to keep going on. Because anytime you speak anything about the correction of a woman, it's a reflection on the man. Now, my plane may be up a little bit higher because I realize that just like in this world, you got three different classifications of people. You have low base people, middle of the road people, and high society people. And I'm, I'm for sure that the majority of these people that are making these comments are people who cannot comprehend or understand because of the classification or the level that they find themselves in. Because we all don't hear the same way. And that's another remarkable thing, how we all just don't hear the same way. I mean, when you hear the way that I talk and the way that I speak, you have no farther to go than to look at my house. And you look at the personalities of my issues. How in the world do you come to those type of conclusions? Oh, my issues are with me. Are you following me? But I'm in front. And with the type of personality that they have, all three of them, and their confidence, listen, listen. They don't carry a defeatist mentality or a conquered mentality or that they're beaten up mentality. Check them out for yourself. Some of you women ought to try to go and talk to one of them sometime. Maybe you can bring your frequency up a little bit. I'm just using that. Because the way that you are hearing and the way that they receive it, and it does nothing but just make them even better women. They don't receive it the same way. And I mean, after all, when you look at my house, it's something to be envied. I'm just saying. At times, do we have situations and circumstances that have to be rectified? Sure, but I'm to find authority and answer on that. It's my job to lead and guide that house. But think about this for a second. You don't see... Um, my issues with the attitude of their low base, defeated, barefoot, pregnant, um, don't have a mind, and all this other. Well, I don't know where this stuff comes from because you know, usually in the world, there's an old statement that says there's proof in the pudding, or by their fruits you should know them. And when you look at my home, tell me what fruit you see. Tell me. So it's got to be something wrong. Just like Jesus said. It's got to be something wrong in the hearing. It must be an offense that is already in that, in that heart. That hears things a certain way and it automatically goes to the lowest frequency that there is possible. And I said it. The classifications. 
low, mid, and high. The high society type of, of a mindset of a woman, she here is totally different than the low based woman who has children and those children need to be taken care of and all she cares about is her own self. She don't care if the children are nasty, look like crap, smell like crap. Even if she smells like crap, she don't even care. Um, when you start getting up to the middle woman, the middle class woman, she's a step above that, but she starts to really truly care more and starting to really truly get it about her duties and responsibility. When you get to a high society woman, then you start looking at the biblical woman, the woman that is in agreement and cooperation with her husband, which is the head of the family. And she's there to help build that family and she's happy in doing it. I'm telling you, man, see, that's why I keep saying over and over and over again. When you get people that respond like that, be it male or female, it's a hallmark sign. You need to get away from them because I don't think they can rise above that. They're not even trying. 